and we're live back again coffee for closers every wednesday uh, we've had some technical difficulties we've had um, people traveling uh, marcus has been uh, around for a bit but we're back we're back uh, we want to bring you content again every wednesday very consistently uh, and today we have a very nice, very nice topic to talk about. We always talk about lead generation, right? You need to start bringing in leads into your database and more so now than ever, because you kind of want to get ready. You know, we're, hit, we're hitting the end of the year. We are about to get into, you know, 2023 and we want to make sure we start closing business, right? That's so right. what can you do right now? So Marcus, what can we do right now? And, and what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's funny, if it is the end of, of the year. I mean, it's the holidays are coming. We're calling it like we're going to be running an event in December called the Fourth Quarter Blitz, right? And and football, like it's a two minute warning, like you know what I mean. It's like this is it. Like get your year in order. It's right around the corner. A lot of people slow down at this moment, but this is the time to actually rev up. And I'm not meaning revving up and like let's just pour in leads because maybe it's not so much the time to just generate new leads as, as much as it's the time to cultivate the old leads that you have. Uh, to nurture the database that you already have and, and really consider that in this digitally dominated market, you need to stay ahead of the trend and not be the late adapter. I, I find notoriously agents seem to be late adopters. The good ones are trendsetters. So how do you stay ahead of the trend or at least with the trend? Well, you look at what people are talking about and what they're doing. At this moment, it's remarketing. Right, we call it retargeting, remarketing, but it's essentially staying in front of the audience you've already created, and you can segment those databases all over the place. Like what we've done recently at Street Text is we allowed the availability to bring in whatever database you have from whatever lead source you have, and you can segment those into specific lists and bring content in front of them depending on the type of list that you have, whether it's a seller list, a buyer list, old clients, people that have expressed certain time frames, etc., so, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera, right. So you're, you're telling me you're telling me that you can bring in leads information yes. and retarget them with Facebook. Yes. And Absolutely. Just being, I'm just being funny, right? Because we, we've talked about this before, right? We talked about retargeting. We talked about uh, using the power of Facebook, not just to generate leads, but also to stay in front of your leads, your existing database, right? And like we're, we're, you're saying right now, it is important to be in front of them. And why not use Facebook already? Right? Why not use Facebook? Facebook makes it so much easier to to retarget. And now with the platform that you guys have, you have taken it to a step uh, further, and it's even easier to, like you said, just load up leads and start retargeting those leads. People are always looking for shortcuts, right? Like, and I, I I think we're all guilty of it, but I find in the industry, and I've been around real estate industry all my life. My my parents were both realtors, and I got my real estate license in 2007. And I mean, and been, since I've been working with Street Tech since, since 2015, I, I found that, that the agents that stay around aren't the ones that are doing shortcuts. They're, there's a certain breed, a certain avatar that we've really, you know, we did a, an event in June called no, uh, no Agent Left Behind or Agent No Agent Left Behind or something like that, right? And I'm like, oh man, but really the truth is there's a lot of agents left behind, right? We don't want them to, but that, uh, recently we've decided, well, you know what? The truth is there's only a certain type of agent that really makes it, especially as this market shifts and changes. And it begins with the mindset. It begins with the mindset that's long-term. That's not trying to look for their next deal. If they're looking for their next deal and they're coming from scarcity, they're already lost. Because really, if you're looking at Facebook that way, you're already coming into it wrong because you're looking to sell and you're not serving. You're looking to get that next deal, that next appointment, the next listing, the next buyer to sign with you. But the truth is, Facebook is interruption-based marketing. So you always got to come from a place of empathy and put yourself in the shoes of your leads. And what you look at Facebook for, you look at the, the you know Instagram for, any type of marketing this way where it's social media derived, that people are just scrolling you know, mindlessly through their Facebook feeds. They're not there looking for you. They're there to, to, to be entertained, really, to click on the, the reels, to look at their friends' photos, to look at the Halloween pics from a few nights ago, right? They're just, it's basically a mindless activity that we all go to, that we're all, it's a social dilemma we're all in the habit of. We don't, you know, no one goes to their phones and, and says, ooh, 
Today, I'm going to go on Facebook and, and look for a buyer list of pools under $9.99 in Los Angeles. Or no one's going on Facebook today. I'm going to go to Facebook today and look, look to see what my home is really worth. <laughs> right? No. They have no idea that there's a human being behind there that is connecting with them. So there is this natural process that people have to, to shift to and be educated around. And it's all about if you really want to digitally dominate this market. And so already we separate, I think, the cream on the top from everybody else by the, finding those agents that, number one, understand that. Number two, are willing to put in the work and understand that really the first part of this is building systems. The first part of this is considering integrations. The first part of this is really service, not selling. It's education. And it's a continued understanding that that's how you do it. You learn how to create conversations rather than convert leads. And the more you can create conversations that are authentic, that are helping people, they're steering them in the right direction and showing them what's even possible, educating them what's, what they can even do in a market that seems to be so uncertain, in, a, in an environment where there's so much fear mongering, right? Like there's... We, we don't we're, we just turn on the news. You know, people talk about inflation. People are talking about, uh, you know, the economy crack, all this stuff. But the truth is, people still need to buy and sell. People still need to move, right? People still need to make people education for their families. Buying, and they right? are. They are. Yeah. Right now. A lot of people yeah. are buying. A lot of people are still selling. They're not, you know, for sellers, you know, and, and this, this goes to, you know, different areas in the country. Are behaving differently but people are still selling you know they still want to sell because they probably want to move and if they are moving they're buying yeah right so it's just a matter of hey put in the work and find those people yes you're gonna to have to work a little harder and you know right now you mentioned something right you, you talked about no agent left behind but unfortunately there is a lot of agents who are not going to make it in this market and that goes for for real estate agents and loan officers too Mm -hmm. Right, they're not going to make it because they came from a different market. If they started, you know, like early last year or mid last year, we had a lot of refis, we had a lot of movement, you know, a lot of listings. But now, now you kind of have to put in the work, and because of that, some agents and loan officers are going to stay behind. So the question is, what are we doing to, you know, continue to push? through this market get ready for next year and like you said it's almost end of the year already right in real estate terms i think um end of the year is like it was a month ago yeah right? where you start getting ready for you know planning for 2023 yeah yeah this is you know thanksgiving is right around the corner christmas is right around the corner i, I mean I, I think this is the time really where you you you, you reflect a little bit on you know how great times have been. And, and then you spend time inside of that reflection and just start looking at your business and start considering all the systems that you have, your CRMs, your integrations. Like you start thinking about your marketing budget. You start thinking about, well, where is my biggest ROI? Um, where, where do I think the market is shifting and changing? Where, where is social media going, right? Who's, who's the pioneers out there? We like to say uh, R&D, rip off and duplicate. Because really nothing has been done under the sun that, you know, is new, right? So look to see who these influence are, influencers are, see what they're doing, how they're doing it. Um, and, you know, mastermind with people like that, right? Don't try to reinvent the wheel. There's plenty of badasses out there that are, are doing well, you know, and surround yourself around those type of people and see what they're doing and the systems they're using. And, you know, that that's... That's the way we see it, at least in our environment, in our community. We just try to bring everybody around a table. That's what these masterminds are all about. The sort of the, the roundtable discussions, just like we're doing here. And the more of people like you and I can bring for the communities, right? Now you because you're saying, wow, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. Right. People like Kristen Mayshore and Tristan and um, you know, all these digital pioneers out there. Uh, we just brought in a guy. Uh, this is a service called Agent Launch that we're going to bring in to the community and they're all big on Google SEO and YouTube, right? Cause omnipresence is key right now. Being everywhere, let people know you and see you. And, um, you know, that was even big part of Kristen Mayshore. Like what I loved about her was 
she was going to digitally dominate the space and get people to, to, to really build their video presence before she even lets them generate leads. Because by the time they're starting to generate leads, they already know who these people are in the community. Exactly. You work, you work on, on your lead gen strategy as a system. Let's just say marketing has never been so important, <laughs> right? And, and, and it's not just about bringing in leads, right? Like you said, yeah. it's not just about generating leads. It's about what you do with the leads once they're in your database. If you're trying to convert them like right away, you may you may lose that battle. No one like then trust. No like then trust. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Part of the strategy people forget is like, well, why should I just start talking to you? I don't even know you, let alone like you. So a big part of your follow-up has to do with getting to understand psychology and how do you get them to know and like you. And that starts with giving exactly what was presented in front of them, give it, give it to them, and then just give more. Ask questions that'll only only give them an even better experience or even a better service based on what they were thought they were looking for. Right. And then just stay in front of them and let them get to see you as a multidimensional person, not just a real estate agent. I think that's a big part of that. What I see nowadays, people, people want to just follow people that, you know, that are more than just selling or sellers. They're, they see they have families. They see they're part of a community. They see they have fun interests and passions. Those are the things like you, you just basically are building your tribe. Exactly. Exactly. And, and bring it back, bringing it back to what we started with, right? Yeah. Uh, taking advantage of systems to retarget your existing database is very important, right? You are bringing in leads, great, but what are you doing with the leads that you already have? I mean, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing to nurture those leads? Like, just to give you a quick example, um, I was talking to a, a guy yesterday and he was telling me that, you know, his strategy is to call leads um, every six months, more or less, right? Because the, the last group of people that he generated was six months ago. And they told them that they're li looking at buying, you know, in three to six months. So what he's going to do is call them at the six month mark. Now, as we know, usually when we get a lead that tells us, hey, I'm going to be ready in the next, you know, three months, we cut it in half and we call them half the time, right? You don't want to wait too long because time and time again, we've had systems in place and we have agents doing this where they take three months, six months to contact the database, to contact the leads that came in six months ago. And by the time they talk to them, there's a good 10, 15% who said, I already bought or I already sold, right? So you got to keep in mind that you may not be the only one generating leads in your area. So staying top of mind with, with your database, with the leads that you bring in, whether that's retargeting, you know, with video, more ads to that specific audience, or just being around the community, right? Building that brand. And you're going to be able to get more results that way. You don't want to get that, you know, you don't want to, you know, get on the phone and get that, that, that lead that tells you, oh, I already sold two months ago. Yeah. You know, it's like you already spent money on bringing in that lead and building the systems to nurture that lead, but you're not doing it properly and you're not making the right, you know, contacts, you're going to lose that deal. And that's like, you know, depending on your market, like in California, it could be a, a $10,000 deal, right? $10,000 commission that you're missing on just because you didn't pick up the phone two months ago. Yep. Yep. And use the systems you already have. And if you don't know how to use them, go deeper. Um, you know, smart plans are very important these days, but those smart plans have to be built to be very uh, custom and authentic and genuine. You never want anything to feel like an AI going out. Um, you don't want anything going out that's unbranded. Uh, and really, you can, you're kind of having to heavily, I think, personally, uh, even with the automations you use, consider video as kind of the the non-negotiable now, right? Because how else does someone get to know body language and tonality? Just like if we were just trying to text each other, like we were like, okay, everybody, it, real closers, we're going live, you know, just follow us. Uh, we're going to text back and forth. <laughs> you know, people wouldn't even uh, stay for a second. But the body language and tonality is a massive component of people getting to know and like you and, and let alone trust you and, and just observe your authenticity um, in a market where people are being bombarded daily and try and, you know, sold something, some service or another. So I, I think that's the key is we, we need to become people 
that um, are genuinely like our follow up has to be coming from an authentic place. We have to be willing to put in the work to make it that look that way. And, you know, asking great questions, you know, and listening, right? Don't go straight for the throat on this stuff. I think the key is like those that are going to really make industry are, are, are positioning themselves in this market to serve, to educate and not, and, and really, if that means no transaction for a long time, because you, you essentially want to do what you would do if you were in their shoes. If you can work from that angle, instead of from where's my next paycheck coming from, but the angle like I'm going to serve this family as if it were my own. And if I wouldn't make this decision in a specific market, whether I'm to buy or sell right now, and maybe it's better to rent or whatever we're talking about, right? The key is, do they know that you're truly giving them the best advice possible and something that you would do for yourself? And if you can live from that type of integrity, you'll make it. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, if you're if you started to generate leads, you know, today, you kind of have to have that mindset, right? It's going to take a good two, three months, maybe six months before they finally convert. If you can provide them value now, you're going to have those deals in the next six months. Now, if you already have a database that you generated six months ago, three months ago, yeah, right marketing now is the time to really put in the work. And you had to have put the work, you know, three, six months ago. But right now, hey, nurture that database. Be right. fun too with it. Like, listen, right now is the time. Like we just had Halloween. You could have been in a costume, having some fun with your automations, let them go out, write bomb bomb videos and just say happy Halloween. Thanks, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Like I, my, my favorite agents will sit by the Christmas tree and, you know, that that's relevant. Like, you know, don't let any of your follow-up or out, your automations be outdated and say things that are, you know, relevant to a market that was a year ago. And like now is the time to sell. It's the best, right? No, it's not. It's not. You know, you change your wording. Uh, you know, be relevant to the times as well. So a lot of people have to go back in there and observe and maybe pause and edit and customize a little bit right now. And this is a good time to do it. Yeah, and if you implement the right systems, like you mentioned, right, Bomb Bomb, Bomb Bomb, it's it's a video platform. You can record, you know, five, ten videos, and then you start sending those to your to your database uh, and change them up. I remember one time. Um, I know you got like five more minutes, right? Yeah, I probably got to go in like 60 seconds to get ready for the next meeting. But this is a great conversation. We'll continue it. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue next time. And maybe we'll, we'll try to bring someone who's done, you know, bomb bomb into, into the mix into next Wednesday. Let's, let's see if we can. Yeah, me and me, we can do a better job of planning before we get together. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We got to nurture our database. That's right. <laughs> With preparation. All right, Marcus, hey, I know you got to go. So for you guys, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. We're going to be more consistent every Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. We're going to bring you Coffee for Closers. Uh, we're going to bring you more content as we continue, you know, week after week. So if you have questions, messages, drop them in the comments, and we'll take care of you guys next week. All right? Have a good one, Thanks, Mark. Roberto. Cheers, buddy. No, can't. There you go.